Hi everybody, I hope you're well. Um, today we're doing a double header. Uh, we're doing some scrap busting and we're also doing the second of my member suggest videos. Now this video was um, has come from a suggestion from the lovely Anna Sanchez. So hola Anna, esto es para ti? I hope I said that right. Um, I just said this one's for you. Um, so yeah, I've got some scrap clay here. Now this is the colour that I want, I like a terracotta colour. You could do this any colour you want guys, it's just I'm just going to do some scrap busting. So I think to get that colour I've got this bit of tan scrap here. I'm going to put a pinch of red in to warm it. And I'm just going to put some of this cheapy brown clay. It's like a ready brown. Uh, you've seen me use this before when I just use a pinch to tint something. It's, you know, if you're trying to um, be mindful of money and stuff, guys, it's a really... If you're only using a tiny bit of it, it makes no difference to your overall clay. Um, so I find these little cheap blocks... Um, well initially when I first started because you know it can get expensive can't it um, I just find these little cheap block blocks a really good way to add a little bit of colour to a good clay base so I'm just going to make this colour up um, mixing these scraps up uh, just a little bit of red guys not all of that so we need some scrap clay um, We'll go, oh by the way guys we're making I should have told you this shouldn't I we're going to make a little mobile phone stand and we're going to make a little matching incense dish or you could just make it like a, a knick knack dish for your desk um, you know turn it into what you want so you're going to need um, you've seen me use these before I just roll up some use uh, some copy paper and this is paper packing tape uh, and I use these as little forms because I know that they're okay in the oven so you're going to need something a pencil uh, a chopstick anything that you can put in the oven um, to form um, some scrolls with that you can leave in to leave in the oven um, you're going to need another thing to form our bowl so I'm going to cut a circle out and sit it in this bowl and bake it um, you may have some bowl forms guys are similar but I just use one of my little rice balls uh, you need something to put some texture in I've got this texture roller um, I've just been rolling it on this actually so I'll turn it over and show you guys cat fluff um, this is just a texture roller you could use a stencil a texture mat whatever floats your boat but I'm just going to use this little texture roller um, as you can see it's not a very deep texture but it'll do for what we need because we're going to make like a, a four pot terracotta pot look uh, and now don't faint, I'm going to use a bit of acrylic paint on the baked clay just to give the pot a little bit of aged look. So that's all you need really guys. And of course you need to know the dimensions of your phone, um, mainly the base. Uh, you could make quite a long one so you could stand your iPad up in it. But I'm just going to make mine um, the same width as my phone base so there we go I'll go and mix this up and try and make a terracotta colour uh, I can't give the exact dimensions of things I'm going to use guys at uh, dimensions measurements because it's a bit um, you know suck it and see so I'll mix a bit of red in and a bit of this in and as soon as I kind of get this colour I'll be happy uh, so I'll go and do that uh, and try and get myself a bit of a terracotta colour again you use whatever colour you want guys um, you know you could use 
um, a mica shift couldn't you you could use anything you wanted to do uh, with this um, so I'll go and sort this out and I'll be back when I've conditioned it uh, so I'll see you in a min hi guys oh, that was epic I'd put a bit too much red in and it just looked really pink so I used a little bit of brown alcohol ink to tone it back down and baked a chip just to be on the safe side and yes we've got terracotta thank goodness uh, yes yeah, so if you're gonna use a light brown maybe use um, a little bit of black or dark brown in it initially before you add your red and then you won't go over pinky like I've just done right I've conditioned this it's on a zero setting and we're going to double it and I know that seems quite chunky but we do need this to be quite substantial guys uh, in fact just let me get my craft knife um, I've just measured my mobile phone and it is nearly one lolly stick long which is just under six inches long and it is just that wide uh, which is two and a half inches so I know uh, roughly how much I need for this guys um, and regardless of the length of your phone um, I think we're going to need maybe six to seven inches of clay uh, to make this so I'm just going to cut this in half and I'm just going to use my blade to do that it's easier th uh, my knife to do that it's easier than uh, using my uh, cutter with such a big piece and I'm just going to lay this on top so we've got a double thickness and I'm just going to smooth it with my hand guys make sure there's no bubbles trapped mm. uh, because we're putting a little pattern in and we want it to look ru rustic I'm not too worried about little marks on the surface and things because uh, like I said we want the rust I want the rustic effect on this uh, let me just pick this up and pop it here so I've got enough width there for mine uh, and I'm just going to use my long ruler and my craft knife just because I find that easier to do guys because uh, uh, my blade isn't long enough to do what I need it to do so I'm just using my uh, metal edged ruler and a craft knife just to trim that side off if I can get it to peel off that is and I'm not 100% sure but I think oh my ruler's stuck I think my ruler might be how wide is it no it's not quite wide enough so I'll just pop this down the other side like so and again just cut down with my craft knife to get a nice clean edge and we can trim this excess off now so I need about six inches so uh, if I haven't said this before guys and you already you don't understand you don't get it these squares on my desktop are about an inch apart so that should give you a one two three four five six set I'm gonna do seven to be on the safe side that's not very straight calf is it there we go that one's okay so I'll just pop this other bit to one side we'll be using that shortly for our little bowl so I've now got um, two and a half inches by seven inches and let's just pick it up again and turn it towards me making sure it's all in the screen for you guys uh, I'm just gonna soften them corners off a little bit with my finger and like I said guys you could use anything you want to put a texture in this 
I've just decided to use this roller because it's such a long piece it would be the easiest option for me and I'm just going to firmly press and roll my pattern bit of wrist action there we go nice little pattern there and I will just trim this end back up guys because it's got a little bit distorted because my clay is quite soft just again sharpen them edges up with my nail doesn't again guys this is going to be like a nice rustic look um, so we don't um, doesn't need to be perfect you could just go over with some dots um, we just want a bit of texture in it so I'll pick this up and now we're going to turn it over and what we're going to do is we're going to get two of our little whatever you want to use things um, again you could use just a pencil guys a pencil would work perfectly and we're going to roll this one over here and get it to meet there like so and then husband's tapping at the door because he's forgot a film in and then this side needs to be bigger so I'm just going to roll this one um, over just tucking that end in and over again like so and I need to have kind of four lolly sticks gap so I know if I've got four lolly sticks that's a big enough gap for my foam to fit in I'm just going to use this lolly stick to just get that edge nice and flush then I can roll this one up and just press it down pop my lolly sticks in again and I can roll this then and just gently press it down just to get it to stick and it's as simple as that guys couldn't be any simpler that could it uh, I'm hoping that that's enough height for it to hold my phone nicely and it should be you could always use a thicker roller and make this higher if you need to and I am just going to go in again with my lolly stick and just get that edge nicely stuck down to that there we go and that side's fine um, I'm not too worried about the gap in the middle there guys uh, it, it does look a bit messy you know you could go in with a smoothing tool if you so wish or a dotting tool um, but again like I say for the rustic look it doesn't really matter right so that's basically it guys I'll pick it up and show you the side view it's really simple idea I've actually pinched this idea um, from a slab ceramic post um, I haven't given the lady uh, credit because to be fair there's that many have done it with the ceramic clay that I'd be naming people forever um, you know they just seem very popular in the ceramic community so that's it it's really simple um, I'm just going to pop that now to one side uh, to pop in the oven and bake and uh, I'm just going to go and condition this uh, to get um, a kind of a square this is the cutter size I'm going to use for our little dish it is three and a quarter inches uh, not radius whatever it's it is all the way across I'm supposed to be an engineer and I can't even remember the words um, so yeah that's a three and a quarter inch 
and it should sit really nice in the bottom of my bowl so I'll just go and get this into something I can uh, some semblance of order uh, and I'll be back in a sec okay guys I've just run that through on a zero again uh, I've got plenty there I'm going to cut it in half and double stack it um, because I want a nice chunkiness uh, to this uh, ball again I want that rustic feel to it and I'll just pop my cutter there for a second I'm just going to cut some of this excess waste off just to make our life a bit easier when we're putting the roll around there we go uh, let me just get those scraps together okay so again I'm just going to get my pattern roller you guys use whatever you want to and I'm just going to firm steady pressure roll this pattern into the clay get my cutter cut out my circle and I like to give it a bit of a wiggle just to help that horrible notch on the other side you know where the where the cutter is I mean these are quite fine ones but you still get that notch don't you okay so we have a little bowl a little circle and all I'm going to do is pick this up well I'll loosen it first and I'm going to get a little bit of talc uh, or corn starch, corn flour, whatever you've got guys that you use to stop things sticking um, and I'm just doing this because I've learned from previously making little trinket dishes that if it doesn't quite sit right as the first time you put it in um, just putting a little bit of talc around the bowl helps you to slide it a little bit and I am just going to dust a little bit on the back just again to help it just not stick straight away as I drop it in so I'm just going to try and get that as central as I can there we go and then I'm just going to push it down to make sure it's at the bottom you could do this bigger or smaller guys entirely up to you uh, you, you know you could dome it over in fact if I might no I won't I'll do it like this but I was just going to say if I dome it over something um, it might not have a flat bottom then oh hmm because I haven't got much of a dome have I do you know what that's exactly what I'm going to do because I'd like it to be a little bit more domed so I'm just going to pop that over there and then I think I'll do a little piece on the bottom and a piece to attach to it so I'll pop these in the oven now they are thick but they're not too thick um, so I think I'll do uh, let's say I'll do 45 minutes guys you know why I'm not one of these people who do the long baking uh, and that isn't even um, a quarter of an inch thick so um, I'll do 45 minutes just because of the thickness on the other one with the roll 
<clears throat> but what I'll do is after 15 minutes I'll take this out and we'll make a little base and we've got a little thing to go on the inside as well just to get this to set up right okay guys I'll pop these in the oven and I'll be back in a sec well, that's in the oven guys I just thought I'd do the um, extra bit for the dish um, because I'm going to turn mine into a little incense holder so I've just um, balled up some of the um, pieces we had left over I'm just going to cut this in half because I think I may have enough with this what I want to do is just make a little flat bottomed almost like a pebble if that makes sense and again it, it I want it to look rustic guys so it doesn't have to be perfect a little bit of texture will help when we're painting it later so I've just got this little let me pick it up and show you flat bottomed kind of pebble shape and what we're going to do is make this so that you can use two different types of incense you can use a cone or you can stand a incense stick up in it so what I'm going to do is the end in fact yeah this one will be perfect I think the end of my roller where it's flat um, if we push this now into this clay we will make oh I went a bit off centre just push it down a little bit firmer there so we've made a little hole that a cone will sit in but if we get a cocktail stick or maybe maybe something a bit finer I'll use a needle the cocktail stick might be a bit thick then in the middle I'm just going to pop a hole all the way to the bottom like so and that will either be able to have a cone uh, incense on it or we can now stand a incense stick on it and I'm thinking I might put a little bit of texture on this I don't know if it will work with this roller let me just see if I can get a little bit on the top there we go just a little bit of texture on the top with my roller that is a bit wonky to be fair but I did say I wanted it rustic didn't I so that's going to get stuck into our little dish and then I want to make a sausage for the base so I'm just going to roll some clay out and this is an old kind of potter's trick to make a stand um, <clears throat> I don't know if you've ever I love watching some of the pottery videos I'd love to have a kiln and do it it's just beautiful isn't it pottery there got a little sausage and I'm just going to trim it down a bit that's not big enough I could do is something to wrap it around that won't stick I'll just freehand it freehand it we're going rustic aren't we okay just gonna just give that a little roll to get it together and that will be what we can sit our pot on to keep the base flat I might actually have another go at that guys while we're just doing nothing let's do it again make it into a ball 
I know I said rustic but it was a bit wonky and it was bugging me <laughs> okay I'm flattening that ball off instead now at the bottom oh and I'll just in fact let me just flatten it out a bit more okay and then I'm just going to push my I still did it didn't I it's because I can't see what I'm doing I'll start again you'll be fed up of me shouting at the screen let's move that away, out the way <clears throat> take three okay this time I think I'm going to cheat let's find I'm just going to squash it with my um, acrylic block and now I hope I don't get my head in the way see if we can get it a bit more central is that better? I think it is right that's better just want it a bit deeper there I'm a happier bunny now <laughs> oh I'm such a faff around her right I'll just roll this over the top to get a bit of texture in to match the dish and what did I do with my pin I put it down there it is oh I know I've just dropped it on the floor I better find that before one of the cats does I'll just get me other needle and let's put a hole all the way down like so I'm just going to do that a little bit more guys just let me dust the bottom of me do da and it doesn't stick so much I just want it a little bit deeper and it's hard to judge when my head isn't all the way over it that's better happier now okay so that's going to be our little again you don't have to put one of these in guys it's just I thought I'd make uh, the into an incense dish uh, because that's what Anna had asked for so I'll just pop them to one side and I'll be back uh, shortly to attach these other pieces and then we'll finish the baking see you in a min hi guys so this is uh to be fair it's probably baked now um but i'm just going to put our little ring on the base um and i am just going to use a little bit of um clear liquid clay oh i've just been shaking it and it's dribbled everywhere just a tiny bit on just to ensure that we've got a decent bond and of course this dries clear so we won't see it I'll just smooth that drizzle in and we're just going to pop that on the base like so and then what I'm going to do is I've just got a little bit of card here this is what I'm going to put it back in the oven on I'm just going to pop it on the card and just press it to make sure that that's sat nicely and then of course we've got our little centerpiece again you could just keep this as a trinket dish if you wish guys uh, I'm just going to pop a little bit of liquid clay on the bottom of this as well um, just to make sure we've got a nice bond and I'm gonna just oh pop that in the middle and just give it a little teensy press I may just bring my um, acrylic rod in 
just to help me press that down in the middle there we go and I am just going to pop my pin just in to make sure that none of that liquid clays come up and will block my hole so there we go guys I shall pop this back in um, I'll just lift it up so you can see we've got that little ring on the bottom um, to help keep the bowl stable um, so I'll pop this back in now and I'll see you when everything's baked and cooled see you in a min okay guys we're out the oven um, I've just got a couple of I did have a couple a couple of nail files um, as much as I like the rustic look I just want to um, sort of a few of these little rough edges off uh, just get rid of that sharpness and there's a couple of little divots along the way as well um, so I'm just giving them a quick sand we are going to be painting guys so they don't have to be absolutely perfect like I say I just want to make sure there's no sharp edges or anything and I think this is actually okay there's just a little bit of clay there that I'll just rub off and a little bit of a sharp edge there but there we go let's just wipe that dust up I'll just give these a little dust make sure there's no bits on them right so all we're going to do is uh, let's find a decent paintbrush hmm trust them all to be behind me I'll just use this big one sod it uh, I've just got some acrylic paint here um, this is a Sennelia brand that I use it's quite a decent heavy bodied uh, acrylic paint uh, so it's really well pigmented um, I prefer to use a personally guys I prefer to use a decent quality paint on whatever I'm using um, again just use what you're used to using and I am just gonna water this down a little bit um, I need some more water in the sprayer to be fair and I'll do the bowl first let's just get a bit of paint going on my brush I want it reasonably wet because uh, we're going to kind of wipe some off as well and uh, we just want it to look like the terracotta to look um, aged if that makes sense you know like an old pot in the garden so I'm just going to um, just do half then I know that I can wipe it off if I need to and I'm just going to use a, wipe, a wet wipe and take some of the excess off I don't want it drying on there guys that's all and this it, although it's cool it I can still feel a bit of warmth so I'm just whacking it on liberally and I'll do some on the top just make sure I've got it down there and then I'm just going to wipe the excess off initially and then I will uh, go in my wet wipes a bit of a dry wipe it's just an old pack I had on the side and I'm just going to go in with a damp wet wipe now and just remove I'm just gently I'm not rubbing as such I just want to try and remove some of the paint off the um, 
of the raised pieces and it just makes it look like it's almost been um, weathered or glazed a little bit a bit of interest as they say and I'll just wipe a little bit of that excess off from around the sides uh, you could let this dry and um, sand your um, raised edges to bring a bit more of the terracotta out if you so wish which I might do I'm just going to put a little bit more in there it seems to have wiped off more than I'd like there we go so there's our little pot and I'll just again get a bit of water it's quite warm in here guys so my paint's drying out a little bit and I'm just going to do the same to this I'll just do this half first you could do this um, you know I've done it before I've an hour with um, what's it called my brains just not working today guys um, I've done it with liquid clay if you remember um, I am going to seal this with a little bit of varnish um, just to protect it I need my wet wipe to be a bit wetter just spraying it guys it's an old pack that I found in the house that had got dry I shan't blame my husband for leaving the top off but I'm blaming my husband for leaving the top off but they come in handy for in the craft room again if you feel it needs a bit more just go over it kind of what's the it's like a dustiness isn't it you know when you see old terracotta pots they kind of look dusty does that make sense makes sense to my head and I'm just kind of scrubbing it in so it gets in the grooves and things um, I'll put a little bit on the bottom I'm not too fussed about the bottom and again guys this um, I've done it quite rustic looking you know you could do this as sleek as you wanted really couldn't you you know if you've got your edges really smooth um, you could make a really sleek looking one if you so wished right Ooh, I've over wiped that bit there I'll just put a little bit more on I think I will go over with my um, thingy in a minute and just sand those raised edges what a waste of paint Kath um, sand those edges oh, making a right mess now let's get another one out yeah I'm just going to sand those ed uh, the raised bits guys to um, just bring a little bit of that clay back that one's not rough enough let's use this one just to kind of expose the raised bits a little bit more again guys you can take your time you know I've got to be conscious of uh, f 
filming time and such, haven't I? I'll just sand that little bit in the middle so it looks a little bit more warm. I'll just go around the edge a little bit to make it look more worn. go I'll just give it a quick dust and um, I will I'll not do it on screen guys um, but I will um, just give them a quick brush with a matte varnish just to seal the um, painting my brain told you it's going to be one of those days uh, so there we go just a really simple phone stand doesn't take up a big footprint on your desk um, and a little incense dish very rustic for terracotta Oh, and we've got a Doris, and she comes. Can you disappear, please? Thank you. I'll leave you there, guys, and I'll see you all soon. Bye now.